Right on, mate. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another one. I'm hitting you guys up with a second reaction video for tonight. Seeing as Square Enix have recently just today dropped a, another brand new Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer. The third one, actually no, the fourth one. This, this would be the fourth one now, right? As you guys should know, during PlayStation State of Play last month, Square Enix finally, after such long await, dropped the third Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer after about almost four years. And within that trailer, it told us that in June, there would be more information and more stuff coming. Now, this trailer, just like the State of Play one, is very short. This only goes for about a minute and 12 seconds, I'm seeing right here. But it has been confirmed that there is going to be more stuff that is going to get shown off in Square Enix's E3 conference happening tomorrow. So I would say this is just like the little bit of the the taste test, the cock tease, the blue ball arena, but tomorrow should be the full course meal. Now, the one thing that I need to reiterate, and I feel like I'm going to have to, like with most Final Fantasy videos that I end up doing, you guys know me, I'm Kingdom Hearts first, Final Fantasy second. Well, it's, it's not really even that, because when it comes to Final Fantasy, I don't honestly have too much experience with the overall franchise. It wasn't really a game that I was into too much as a kid, just due to the gameplay. You guys know me, I cannot do turn-based. But Final Fantasy seems to be floating more towards an action-orientated direction in the ways of its gameplay. That being that the Final Fantasy VII Remake is more action-orientated than it is turn-based. So for me, I don't know any of the scenes or anything, and I think that's honestly the most frustrating thing about this is I can only imagine for fans you guys have seen all of these cool scenes that were obviously in the original but are now looking 10 million times better. To you guys that must be absolutely mind-boggling stuff like your nostalgia senses must be going through the fucking roof. But for me I can't relate because I unfortunately never played Final Fantasy 7 as a kid. So for me the exciting parts of this is obviously seeing Final Fantasy 7 in a different light, an HD light, but more so the gameplay is what's got me extremely intrigued just because it's floating more towards an action oriented direction. Oh, well, let's stop ramble tambling mamble blambling. That wasn't even fucking English. Let's check out the official release date trailer for the 7 remake. These sewer okay. rats appear to call them So again, I'm looking out for the gameplay. Um oh, oh. Okay. So it's, it's definitely, and you can even see like in the UI, the person's like mashing the square button for, for the attack. Overcharged. Damn, dude. So, oh my. We saw that in the first trailer. Not the first trailer, the one we got last month. The dodging and stuff, too? It's looking really good. This couldn't have been us. Damn, alright. What's done is done. It's looking really good as well, like how much more polished it's it's looking compared to the initial first two trailers we got back in uh, 2015. No Tifa? This must be coming to an end. Shadow things? Weird shadow? Okay, alright, alright. Dementors? Hello? What are you- what the fuck are you doing here? And no Tifa can get his things to stir. I'm sure though in tomorrow's trailer, Tifa will hopefully pop up. I think at this point this is like the number one thing everyone wants to see. That and if of course Tifa has been censored or not. Please no censorship! The one thing that I do know though is a lot of these gameplay scenes that we have seen from the 7 remake so far is uh, taking place at the very start of Final Fantasy 7. That much I do know. And it seems like a lot of these trailers focus around the actual beginning of the game. Game. The thing that I really want to know about the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we might get this information in a few hours time when obviously the Square Enix conference hits, but I'm interested to know how much of Seven is within the first version of the Seven Remake. In case you guys don't know, uh, there's going to be multiple different versions, or as they're known as episodes for the Final Fantasy VII Remake, with the first one being what we're seeing right here. So how much of Final Fantasy VII is contained within the first episode for the remake? The other really cool thing is, this is the release date trailer, so the release date is of course the 3rd of March 2020. I know that there was a lot of people expecting a long wait time after Kingdom Hearts 3's development wrapped up for the Final Fantasy 7 Remake to come out, but it's honestly extremely cool to see that the 7 Remake is going to release a about a year and one month after Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't think many people were really expecting that. Okay guys, that is all from me in regards to the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I think the game is looking really, really cool. This is one Square Enix game that currently does have my interest, I think, in regards to any Square Enix title currently floating around, whether it be the Avengers Project or uh, Babylon's Fall or those sort of 
of games, I think the 7 remake definitely piques my interest the most, just because it's it's Final Fantasy finally going in that action oriented direction, although I know hardcore fans are gonna be like, how dare you speak those fucking words? I, re I respect where you guys would be coming from. Trust me, I do. It'd be kind of like Kingdom Hearts going from action RPG to turn-based. So I, I totally get where the hardcore fans are coming from. But for me personally, it works out better just because I'm into action RPG more so than I am with turn-based. Can't wait to see more of the game, especially in regards to gameplay, how everything works. I think an overall interview towards uh, what has been shown off for the 7 remake over these uh, sort of past couple of months would be really nice. But we'll just have to wait and see what comes out within the next sort of week. However, guys, I'm Cynical. Hopefully, you have a fantastic day. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hit him on the page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Look, crank, gaming up the bitch, though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.